Welcome to Center of Math series on topology. Today we're going to talk a little bit about metric spaces. So a metric space is a set with a function that takes for any two points in that set, gives you a real number. So a metric space is, uh, we have some set x and a function from uh, product x with x, so any two, number, any two points in x, we have a function taking those two points and giving us a real number. Uh, so for any x, y, and x, we have d, x, y, and uh, d, because this you can kind of think of as a distance function, because of the axioms that satisfy, kind of make it like a distance. Uh, so d, x, y is greater than or equal to zero for all x, y, and x dxy equals zero if and only if x equals y. Uh, dxy equals dyx, and dxy is less than or equal to dxz plus dzy for any z in x. This last one is over the triangle inequality and kind of reflects how so in our usual Euclidean geometry any the shortest distance between any two points is just a straight line, so going from x to y, we want to get there as quickly as possible, we just go straight from x to y. But if we take any other point, z, make a triangle, say we go from x to z and then z to y, to get from x to y, we know this, the distance we travel going from x to z plus z to y is always going to be greater than or equal to x, y, and this is an inequality always true for triangles and clearly in geometry. So one example of a metric space that maybe isn't the most usual metric space, uh, if we have this space, we're going to say x is our space of continuous functions uh, on the closed interval a comma b, and we're going to say our distance function for any two members of this set of functions uh, will be, if we have fg, the distance will equal to the integral from a to b of the absolute value of f minus g dx uh, for any fg in x. So this we can show that it's a metric space by going through each of the axioms for the distance function and uh, asserting that it satisfies each of the axioms. So uh, we can quickly assert that the distance between any f and g is greater than or equal to zero, simply because the absolute value of f minus g is greater than or equal to zero for any x in the closed interval a, b. So since the integral is just a sum of a bunch of uh, non-negative numbers, the limit of the sum, it's clearly going to be non-negative. And so we have our first axiom. Uh, so note if f equals g, clearly distance fg is going to equal zero, because the absolute value is just going to be zero all the time. Now if we have distance fg equals zero, this is where the continuous part is important. Um, therefore we're going to have, uh, so a continuous function minus a continuous function is continuous, and the absolute value of a continuous function is again also continuous. So if there, if there is any point where the absolute value of f minus g uh, is greater than or equal to zero, then we're going to have a, we're going to have this integral be some finite amount greater than zero, so then this will not equal zero. So we have the absolute value of f minus g equals zero for all x, and so therefore we must have f of x equal to g of x for all x. So they have to equal each other. So quickly, it's, e it's easy to see that uh, this function is symmetric simply because absolute values are symmetric. Absolute value of a minus b equals absolute value of b minus a. So we have distance f comma g equals distance g comma f. For the last, uh, for the triangle inequality, 
we just want to use the fact that the absolute value of A plus absolute value of B is less than or equal to absolute value of A plus B. Uh, so we're going to use this by, we're going to add distance F comma G as distance, uh, the absolute value of F minus G, we're going to write as absolute value of F minus H plus H minus G. And so writing F minus H as A, uh, H minus G is B. This is less than or equal to uh, integral of absolute value of F minus H plus integral of absolute value of H minus G. But these two terms are just distance F comma H and distance H comma G. And so we have our triangle inequality. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please check out our other topology videos. Check out centermath.org. Check out our blog and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.